Hey everyone, welcome back to The Coding Expert. If you're a developer or someone who's just getting started with app development, Xcode is an essential tool to have on your Mac. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to update or install Xcode 16 on Mac OS Sequoia, the latest Mac OS version. So let's dive right in. Step one, check Mac OS compatibility. Before you begin, make sure your Mac is running Mac OS Sequoia or later. You can check this by clicking on the Apple logo in the top left corner and selecting about this Mac. Xcode 16 is compatible with Mac OS Sequoia. So if you have an older version of Mac OS, you'll need to update it first. Now that we've checked that, let's move to the next step. Step two. Open the App Store. Next, open the App Store on your Mac. Just click on the App Store icon in your dock or search for it using Spotlight. Once you're inside the App Store, type Xcode into the search bar at the top. Step 3. Update or install Xcode 16. If you already have an older version of Xcode installed, you'll see an update button next to it. Just click update and the App Store will automatically download and install Xcode 16 for you. If you don't have Xcode installed yet, you'll see a get button instead. Click on that and the installation process will begin. Step four, wait for the installation to finish. Once you click get or update, the download and installation process will take a few minutes, depending on your internet speed. You can monitor the progress in the launch pad or in the App Store itself. After it's done, Xcode will be installed on your Mac and you can find it in your Applications folder. Step five, set up Xcode 16. Once Xcode 16 is installed, go ahead and open it. The first time you launch Xcode, it might prompt you to install additional tools like simulators or developer libraries. Just follow the on-screen instructions and you'll be good to go. And that's it. You've successfully updated or installed Xcode 16 on your Mac OS Sequoia. Whether you're working on iOS apps, Mac OS apps, or anything in between, you're now ready to start developing with the latest features of Xcode 16. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and happy coding!